let's check in on Kanye West. I can't even say oh. it with a straight face. I can't even like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Folks will remember that Ye, how he goes now, went off the deep end last week doing interviews with Alex Jones where he said he likes Hitler. I mean, yeah. not making this well, up. He, so he likes we, Hitler. We covered last week on the podcast because we record on Tuesdays, we release on Wednesdays. We covered his meltdown on the Tim Pool show where he walked out. The yes. very next day, as our podcast is going live, he goes on Alex Jones. And if you missed it, I am jealous of you because it was the most unhinged rant I've ever seen. He goes on this like weird black Balenciaga, like blackout, like BDM mask, and basically says he loves Hitler and that Hitler had, you know, that's good a direct quote. And, yeah. No, I'm not being hyperbolic here. He literally said he liked Hitler. Like, literally. And Alex Jones was like, who's usually the craziest, like, guy in the room, was like, oh, are you sure about that? And Trump's like, oh, sorry. And Trakani's like, yeah, love him. Like, he's great. So, yeah, it got even weirder. Um, it's continued to stay weird. Like, I just... And I want to be serious. Like, we are kind of making fun of him on this show. And, like, I don't know what else to do in this situation, but it is having real life implications. I live in a heavily Jewish neighborhood in Atlanta. My Kroger is literally called the Kosher Kroger because there are so many Jewish people that here that we have a huge like kosher section. Um, there's tons of like synagogues and temples around me, Jewish schools, um, clubs, activities. And I have a lot of friends who are Jewish who also live in this neighborhood. And they have been telling me that like the actual threats to their places of worship, to their schools have been increasing. They are keeping them on high alert. Like they're sending out community like alert systems to them. They're keeping like police lights on at their churches throughout the night so that people don't try to like burn them down or like graffiti them. So, you know, you can't blame all of this on Kanye, but I do think when you have this kind of global figure coming out on the platforms he's coming out on and saying the things he's saying, it riles up the seedy underbelly. And I do think it like, it pours gasoline on the situation and it's very scary for people who are Jewish right now. It's very scary for people who love Jewish people right now. And I think it's just a very actually sad moment in our history. Um, but I think my hope is that in laughing Kanye out of the room for being the absurd, ridiculous person that he is, um, is a message to other people that think like him that like you won't be accepted in society if you think like this you won't be you know it's not going to be something that just goes away and people forget about or they like kind of secretly agree with you we don't secretly agree with you we think you're unhinged and crazy and you need to get it together and like fix your lives and quit being racist period like yeah, blame like other people for your problems by letting him spew this insanity uh, we're basically like they're saying oh this is why free speech is bad no this is kind of why free speech works because the more he spews the more he lights his own credibility and career on fire and i agree it is very unfortunate for jewish people that this is happening in public but i think in the long run if he had stayed more subtle or not done interviews people would have maybe been more veiled in his anti-semitism Maybe he would have ultimately been more influential, but now that he's just gone full crazy, people are seeing him for what he is, and that's continuing. So in his latest interview, Ye uh, tells Jewish people that they should forgive Hitler. Take a look at this. You can't tell me who I can love and who I can't love. You can't say, you can't force your pain on everyone else. Jewish people, forgive Hitler today. Let it go. Let it go and stop trying to force it on other people. Good night. So I have questions. Firstly, because last week he was saying the Holocaust didn't happen. Now he's saying Jewish people should forgive them. I guess it's not surprising that Ye, that Ye is inconsistent at the moment. But what an absurd thing to say, huh? I This is what makes me so annoyed by this is that even on my own Facebook, which I increasingly just think my Facebook commenters are getting real fringe and weird. Like, sorry, guys, <laughs> but like some, something weird's going on on Facebook. <laughs> um, but like there will literally still be people like, well, what context did he say it in? Or like, well, like, did he really say that? Did he really say that quote about Hitler? And I'm like, yes, shouldn't we forgive yes. everyone? Like, yeah. <laughs> He's just preaching a message of love and like forgiveness It's like F all the way off. <laughs> F all the way off. Like, we see you. You're just as bad. Like, please go away. Like, there is no excusing this. And I just, this kind of clip is so bonkers. First and foremost, there are many thousands of incredible examples of Jewish people forgiving their oppressors and people who murdered their families and the guards. Like, I, throughout Christian literature, have read so many examples of that, including from Corey Tin Boom, who is a famous figure from the Holocaust who uh, survived the concentration camps but who lost her entire family 
to these mass murderers and then became a witness when she left this camp, wrote many books and shared her experience and actually like openly forgave um, in person some people that she met who asked for forgiveness down the road. So I just, it's, it's so demeaning to the experience of what the Jewish community endured during that, but also such a ridiculously ignorant statement about their um, incredible forgiveness that they have shown throughout history of the persecution they have experienced in from multiple generations and and, and multiple countries. Um, so I just think he is such a total, just hot airbag. Like I cannot even fathom the shallowness and like lack of seriousness embodied in a person that he is. It is just a ridiculous statement and he needs serious help. And I'm just, I don't, but again, like, I'm kind of less worried about Kanye at this point. I'm like, he can go off and be crazy and do whatever he wants. I'm more concerned about the people who are still, like, simping for him um, and excusing away this kind of language. And I, I don't get it. I think it's just bizarre and creepy and weird. I agree completely. And I don't understand why so many people are still defending him. I mean, he's literally said he likes Hitler and is questioning with the Holocaust and also telling Jews, get over it. I mean, it's just wildly unhinged it's offensive it's bizarre um i don't know i at the beginning of all this i still felt bad for him um but you know mental illness is not an excuse there's lots of no. mentally ill people whose manic depressive episodes don't involve insane jew hatred now i under like i understand that like a lot of people's mania is not going to be politically correct and i it's complicated but it's not as simple as a get out of jail free card. Oh, well, he's mentally unwell. Well, what about all the people who are defending him or propping him up or exploiting him? Um, they are not necessarily have the same get out of jail free card. And even him, it's not a get out of jail free card. You still have some culpability here for the harm that you're doing. Um, but I just hope that people stop platforming him and i know we're talking about it but look the the interviews that he's doing are getting so many tens of, and tens of millions of views that any light we cast on them is just infinitesimally small by comparison so um and it's what people are talking about so i do think we have to keep up with it but hopefully he shuts up and goes away sometime soon yeah, and as a mental health advocate, you know, this is something I've been working on since before I was even in politics full time. I care deeply about issues around mental health. Having mental illness is not an excuse for, for being a racist. It's not an excuse for any bad behavior. You have a responsibility as an individual to work on yourself, to heal yourself, to take care of your illness, especially if you have a severe illness. You have responsibility to take your medicine, to be healthy, to work out, to, to actively work to ensure that you are not cutting and bleeding on other people because you were wounded. And I think that that is just such an actual illness in our society where people want to use not only mental illnesses, but like trauma or anything bad that happens to them as an excuse to be bad people. And it's like, no, you don't get an out for that. I have sympathy for you. I struggle with an anxiety disorder that I have to live with every day. That does not give me an excuse to be a bad person or to let that impact other people or harm other people. So um, there's, an, and also I think when you do that, it stigmatizes mental illness, right? There is nothing inherent about a bipolar diagnosis that makes you a racist or an anti-Semite and he doesn't get a pass for that at all. 